Hello everyone, I'd like to use three videos to introduce the communication between Yaskawa MP3300, this motion controller, and Alan Brandley and Siemens controller. So basically, I will introduce how can we set up the Ethernet IP communication between MP3300 and the Alan Brandley controller. And in another three videos, I will introduce how can we set up the perfect night communication between the MP3300 and the Siemens controller. And when we run the perfect night device for the MP3300, we need to purchase one device as a slot module. And one cost effective way we can implement the Siemens controller run as Ethernet IP adapter. And MP3300 can run as Ethernet IP master. Then using this way, we do not need to purchase this add-on, the perfect night device. So there's no additional cost. So I will use three videos to introduce those communications. Maybe people will ask why running as the motion controller from Yaskawa, this MP3300, do we really need to communicate other brands controllers, for example, Siemens or Alan Brandley? Most likely, we need to communicate with those controllers. So to introduce this, I like to open this brochure at first and let's open and let's see this diagram from Yaskawa motion controller. So the Yaskawa MP3300 is a very great motion controller. It can control multiple motion access, especially using the Mactrolink, this network. It can communicate with Yaskawa server motors. So you can do the multiple access motion controls. However, currently this controller does not come with the safety function. As we know, most of cases when we implement the motion controllers, the safety function STO, SLS, and SS1, those safety functions are quite essential and significant functions we need to implement in building into our machine system. However, this controller does not come with the safety building function. We can definitely need to use the safety controller and uh, safety relays to, to implement the safety control. But some cases, the safety control may be a little bit complex, so using the relay only is a little hard to implement. So that's why usually when we have the motion control system, we probably can use the Allen Brownlee safety controller and the Siemens safety controller as the PLC logic-wise control, safety control. And this Yaskawa MP3300 can focus on the motion control. Especially this controller comes with the Ethernet IP, this protocol built in. It can run as an Ethernet IP master, also can run as Ethernet IP adapter. It also comes with the slots, so that allows you to purchase one additional module can run as a perfect night device. So basically set up the communication between Alan Brandley and the Siemens controller, there's no any issues. That's why I will use three videos to introduce those three common methods. All right, let's move to the engineering platform. So to program this Yaskawa MP3300, you can use the motion works, IEC this software. This software allows you to use this software for free for trial for 30 days. So you can install this software and practice. Also, I like to introduce if you are the new learner, just to try to learn this motion controller. If you go to the yaskawa.com and find out the products and find out the motion control and find out this MP series motion controller, then you go to the support and the trainings and select this self-guided video trainings. And this self-guided trainings has a tons of videos in this platform. And all those videos actually uploaded to the YouTube already. So you can very easily to learn this, self-guided learn this. But for the communication portion, they are lack of those communication videos. That's why I try to utilize this chance to use the real hardware and the Siemens controller, Allen Wireland controller, and this MP3300 real hardware to set up this communication. All right, let's go there. In this video, I will set up the Ethernet IP communication between Alan Brandley, this Compax Logics, and the Yaskawa MP3300 motion controller. 
and the Alan Brownlee side will run as Ethernet IP master, and the Yaskawa side, this motion controller will run as Ethernet IP adapter, the slave. They are communicating via this cable. I have one Ethernet switch behind, so they are connecting with the Ethernet switch. So we will firstly config Yaskawa side running as the adapter. All right, let's shift to the programming platform and let me show how can we start programming that. And let's open this MotionWorks IEC3 Pro. Okay, currently I'm using this trial license. And then let's create a new project. Click new project. And I'm using MP3300 IEC. So I pick this template. Okay, and uh, I will firstly save as Save as this project. Okay, I will save this project in this folder MP33 and uh, Alan Bradley. Okay, EIP. After we set up this project, we will try to connect this hardware so we can config the hardware configuration. We can click this button, launch hardware configuration. And uh, if this is the first time for you to config this Yaskawa controller, is Default IP address is 192.168.1.1. And to double check this IP address, you can click this launch controller web browser. So you can try to use the web browser to check the status of this controller. Okay. In this case, I config my controller already. So its IP address is 1.10. So I can enter this 1.10. Then I can jump into this status here, okay? And uh, firstly, let's log in. So if this is the first time, you can use a domain. A is a capital, and the password, that's the capital MP3300, okay? This is the password, MP3300, okay? And log in. And also, if this is a brand new controller for you, so you can try to click this initialize as run. So if this is a factory delivered, so you need to click this initialize as run. And after this, reboot the controller, and then we can go to the Ethernet config. So you can config the IP address associated with your project. So in this case, I'm using 1.10. After you set this 1.10 IP address, click save and click the reboot. Then your IP address for the controller is set up. In the meantime, you also need to take care of this setting. So in this case, my config CNFG is set on, so I can config this controller. And also the test, TEST, the test deep switch is also set to on. So this is also the regular setting for each controller. The config set to on and uh, the test set to on. And we will see there are a couple Ethernet port on this controller. The port at the bottom here, this is the Ethernet port. It has Ethernet IP protocol built in. And the, this port looks like RG45, but actually this is used for connecting the Yaskawa drive. This is actually Mechatronic 3, the protocol running behind. And this card actually used for the Perfinet communication. So in this case, we are now using that. So you can ignore this card. And if we are communicating with a Siemens controller, and especially the Siemens 300, 1500, or 1200 for the high frequency, for the very fast speed communication, Perfinite IO or IRT. So you can use this card for the Perfinite communication. So in this case, we'll only use this port. So this port is IP address is 1.10. Okay, and uh, Alan Bradley will communicate with this. All right, once we set up the IP address, so let's shift back to this hardware again. So we click this small icon and jump to this hardware configuration. And now let's set my IP address 1.10 and try to connect. Okay, so maybe at the early beginning, you will find this difference that makes sense because maybe your hardware has some card installed and maybe your default, this empty project, has some different setting with the online controller. It's up to you to start with this offline configuration or use the startup configuration. So for the case, if you install some hardware in the controller 
and uh, you initialize the controller, I will recommend to use this. You can upload all the configuration from this identified configuration from the online controller. For this case, I can use this offline because I know for this Ethernet IP communication, we are all using the built-in function. We are not using any other hardware, external hardware. Okay, so for this case, I will click this, use offline configuration. Okay, and I can click save. And uh, it asks me, reset the controller. Okay, cycle power the controller, reboot controller. Okay, it need uh, around one minute. All right, now the controller boot up. So now I can click this connect. Okay, this time it doesn't show that comparison window anymore because the offline online configuration they are matching. And then let's go to this ethernet here. It has two windows here. So you need to be very carefully. The window here, the name is not showing very clear. So actually the top area, this is the configuration for the MP3300 running as Ethernet IP adapter. But this window, this is for while the Ethernet IP running as the master, this MP3300 running as Ethernet IP master, then you can configure the external devices, adapters. But in this case, the MP3300 running as Ethernet IP adapter, so we can ignore this area. Let's watch here. So here you can pick the lens you are going to use. For instance, if we are using the 256 bytes output, also 256, then we can pick, for example, for this case, 112, this instant input. Look at this number. When we show the input assembly, that means originator to the target. This data direction, this is from the master to the adapter. That number, that's 112. And for the right side, if we pick the 256, it's the same, 102. 102. So let's look at this direction, target to originator. That means this instant represent the data from the MP3300 to the Allen Bradley controller, okay? From the adapter to the master. So we need to set this correctly. Basically, that means either Allen Bradley side, the Allen Bradley side, that input assembly, this is the 102. And Allen Bradley output assembly, this is the 112. And for the IO task, so I recommend we are using the fast task. That default is 10 milliseconds. We can set a lower. We can leave a 10 milliseconds as a default, okay? And here, the output state when PLC stops. So that means if the master, we lost the communication. So all the data from the communication buffer, what status we will leave for? We will retain them or set all the output to be off. I would recommend you select this, set all the output to be off. So as we know, if the jog stay on, then maybe the controller will keep moving till it try to search the rising edge or falling edge. So if we are missing the communication, then the output will be stayed. Then the command will be retained. That some cases will be a dangerous case. So some cases I will recommend leave all the power put as a off. Okay, now we finish all the settings. We can click the save and uh, click the cycle power. Okay, we transferred to the controller already, reboot. Okay, so after we reboot the controller, let's click this connect. So the system doesn't show the difference. That means we save this configuration successfully. Now this controller loaded with this configuration. Okay, this configuration. So we only need to set this portion and then let's go to the global variables, shrink this system variables. So we will see this the EIP output instance and then EIP input instance. So let's look at this QB and IB. The IB means this is the data buffer transfer from the master from the Allen Bradley to this MP3300. So at here, we can click this append variable. 
So we can call this is the Allen Branley two MP three three hundred, and this is this is the first one, and we can use the word. And now take care of this address. So this name doesn't mean anything. It need to be project with the address. So let's look at this. The address actually range is this. It has two fifty six bytes behind. Okay. So the first byte that's starting from the six six zero forty eight. So if this is the word, then we will call that percent I W six six. 048. Okay, and then the next word that actually will start from IW660 660 because this one word includes two bytes 48 and 49. The next one is a 50. Okay, and we need to configure as a word. And then running two. MP. Okay. And we can prepare two words at here. And then let's go to the output. The output QB means the data from the MP to Alan Bradley. So from here, we can name this is the MP3300 to Alan Bradley. And the first one, we can also configure as a word and uh, QW, okay, percent QW. The first byte, this is the 71168, okay? And then the next one, it actually, we if we're still using the word, then the next one will be percent QW711. So, this includes two bytes, 68, 69, and then next one will be 70, okay? And uh, we can call the second two, okay? We config a words this length. All right, now we can save and uh, can build this project, make this project. And now we can download this project, okay? It compiled and uh, no errors, and uh, we can open and now we can firstly stop this controller and download. Okay, we download and click the worm start. Okay, now this controller start and uh, we can click this debug on. So it monitoring this output. And from here, this output MP to Alan Bradley, we can prepare some data here. Double click this area, double click. Then we can write some data. And uh, here we can write 16 pound AABB the word right and uh, double click uh, CCDD okay the word okay we prepare AABB CCDD okay and once the Alan Bradley set up this communication successfully we should immediately see those data all right now let's shift to the Alan Bradley side this is my Alan Bradley system and now I'm using the studio 5000 and my controller, this is Compax Logix version 32. This is a very common used controller in the industry world. And my controller, L30 ERM controller. And its IP address is 192.168.1.196. Now I'm going to set up the Ethernet IP communication. And when we set up this connection, we do not need to any EDS file. So we can set up the generic file and set up the input and output assembly number. Okay, and from the Ethernet here, we can click the new module and search the generic file, generic connection. So we can pick this generic Ethernet module. Okay, click create. Okay, and this name, we can name that Yaskawa MP3300. Okay. And then let's firstly pick this format. We can pick this integer, okay? Or some cases actually we can define four bytes as a unit. So when you transfer the position or velocity, that will be much easier. But like I showed in this video, I just create the word, two words. So as a unit, so I can config the integer, okay? The integer. And uh, then set IP address 168, 
1.1.10. So this is the MP3300, this controller IP address, okay, motion controller IP address. Okay, set this word integer, this length as a unit. And then let's go here. So look at this. So once we select this integer, it will change to 16 bits, basically two bytes as one unit size. And uh, then if you recall, again, go back to the Yaskawa. So if we go back to this hardware configuration, okay, from here. So like I said, so the target to the originator, this is the data as a master, this is the input. So 102 will be set to the input assembly. And their lens, they are all, and the input output lens, they all 256 bytes. Okay, so 102 and the 112. Okay, let's go back to the Alan Riley. Once we come back here, let's set this 102 as an input and the 112 as an output. And the configuration, we will set one, okay? And the lens, so total lens, and for the lens, for the input, that's the 256 bytes. So that's the 128 words, okay? 16 bits as a unit, okay? And uh, for the output, the same, 128. And for the configuration, we can set one, okay? Configuration instant, this is one. And the lens, that's also one. Okay, let's click OK. All right, we set up this connection. Let's double click and jump here again. So this is the setting we just did. And also let's look at this RIP time, 10 milliseconds. So we can leave this 10 milliseconds as default. Usually for the Ethernet IP communication, we could leave the communication above 10 milliseconds. If some cases we need to lower than 10 milliseconds, you need to be very careful. Some cases that device cannot do that fast enough. And also, I would recommend to use this uh, unicast. So it doing the point-to-point -point communication. Okay, we will leave at 10 milliseconds. All right, now let's save and download. And download. Okay, let's start this master. So now the controller started and uh, we can see this Ethernet device here is showing running. That means this communication we set up and this IO OK shows solid. That means this master is communicating with this adapter. And now if we shift to this controller tags and uh, see this data, Yaskawa MP33 inputs and outputs. So we can expand here and uh, 128, this integer, right? And if you recall, go to the monitor, uh, go to the monitor, and uh, we expand this input here, and we will see it showing some data here. And now this is showing the decimal. And when we set the data, we are using the word. So let's click this hex, hex. So we will see is receiving AABB CCDD, okay? They all correct. And now from the output, so we can send some output here. So for example, now I'm going to send the two decimal data. For example, I'm going to change this value to one, two, three, and it said four, five, six decimal data. And then let's shift to the Yaskawa side. Okay, once we shift to the Yaskawa side, we will see this input. This input area is receiving some data here, but now it's showing the hex value. We can double click, change this value display to decimal, close. Then it can show the decimal. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and in the meantime, we can change this value again. We can change to, uh, 1000, double click, change to 1000, and change the next data to 2000. Okay, and then we can verify the data 
back to the Alan Bradley side again. The Alan Bradley input. And this time, let's change back to the decimal. So we'll see 1,000 and 2,000. OK, that's super great. Then the last try, we can do monitor this running. And now if I disconnect this master, so now I will disconnect. So Alan Bradley will find this arrow. It shows this indicator here, and it shows this faulted. OK, and also we can see this controller does not show any difference. Okay, and then let's return. Return this connection. And this communication immediately returned. That return, that recover super fast. Okay, and then let's go back to the data again. So input data here. Go to the monitor. And we will see 1000, 2000. Okay. Is communicating here. All right, this is the Ethernet IP communication between the Allen Bradley and this motion controller MP3300. MP3300 is running as Ethernet IP adapter, and we do not need any EDS file. We just need to manually set up this generic file. And just need to keep in mind this input 102 belongs to the right side window, and output this assembly number belongs to the left side window. Okay, configuration side one, size side one. All right, this is the testing for today. Thank you for watching.